sometimes it's hard to believe that you have the ability and you have everything you need to be happy and to experience love when all of life seems to be so circumstantial. It, it just seems like, and again, the truth is true always, and which, that which seems to be true is often not true. But it seems like there are certain circumstances that lend themselves to the feeling of love. And those circumstances affect you. But it's not really like that at all. It's just that you've decided that there are certain situations in which you will allow the love that you are to come through, to be experienced. The experience of falling in love is a very strong one. And it very much looks like this other person has the ability to make you happy. And you may not even remember how that happened, but all of a sudden you're in the presence of this person and you have access to joy. And it looks like it came from them, but really it came from you. And if you go further, you could say, you created them being in your life. But perhaps this person reminds you in a place you don't even remember of a time when you were very young and you looked into your parents' eyes and you felt all this love for them. And this person reminds you of that parent. Or they remind you of some circumstance in which you felt tremendous love. And so under that circumstance, you're willing to let the love that's inside of you come forth. And I know it seems like the other person is causing that, but you're causing that because of a choice you made to allow love to be present to you under certain circumstances. This one used to have a strong preference for certain seasons. Spring and summer were his favorite seasons. And they were associated with freedom, no school, no responsibility, being outside, being able to wear shorts, all these happy, fun things. But over time, he began to hate the fall. And he couldn't <laughs> experience the beauty of the fall because as soon as the days started getting shorter and the weather got colder, he would start to dread fall because fall reminded him that winter was coming. So this was kind of a miserable season and he'd have to go back to school which was difficult for him. He couldn't hold still at school and he was distracted and found school challenging. So fall was associated with shorter days, colder weather, and the onset of winter. And so that, that love that he felt in the summer is no longer available to him as soon as the fall came. And yet, that was just a decision. And over time, he learned that the fall itself, if you just be present to the fall itself in certain portions of the country, when the leaves change and the air is crisp, There's a beauty to the fall that is in and of itself rapturous. 
And when you can experience the fall for just what it is, not what it portends, but just what it is, and be present to that, you're expanding your access to the love that's inside of you. And you can take that way beyond seasons and way beyond circumstances. If you can love all weather, all seasons, all people, all circumstances, all situations. And allow yourself access to the love that you are, that the love that's always there, to the truth of who you are. then the world is a happy place in the midst of the madness. And your world, which is your experience, is not based on anything that you see or hear. It's based on a personal decision to be open to love, to return to love, to live in love, to see only love, to have compassion for everything you see, and to be grateful for the opportunity to remove any obstacle that there is to the love that you are. And that's what you can do on this plane. Love your aches and pains. Love your stressful circumstances. Love the people who annoy you. Love the people who love you. And love the people who don't. And most of all, love yourself for creating this wonderful opportunity to know yourself deeply. To know love, to know God. And to know all the support that you have to awaken. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you for your openness to love itself. And to me. And to all who are helping you. We'll speak with you again soon.